In this video, we're going to construct blue estimators in the presence of heteroscedasticity, and those particular estimators are what we know as GLS, or in some circumstances, we call them just WLS, or weighted least squares. So here we're going to assume that we have a model which is y is equal to x times beta plus u. And we're going to assume here that we actually have heteroscedasticity. So we assume that the variance of u given x is equal to sigma squared times some diagonal matrix omega. And what we're going to do here in GLS is we're going to actually transform our model using some transformation matrix which I'm going to call P. So we're going to multiply both sides of our system by this transformation matrix P which as yet I haven't specified. Indeed we're actually going to derive it in the course of the next few videos. So then we're going to have PY is equal to P times X times beta plus P times U. And the idea here is that the transformation matrix P should be such that the variance of P U given X is just equal to sigma squared times the identity matrix, or at least something times the identity matrix, because then we have homoscedastic errors. So the idea is that our transform system should actually have homoscedastic errors, and then we can actually just go ahead and estimate OLS on our transform system. So GLS is really made up of two stages. The first is to transform the system using this matrix P, and the second stage is just to estimate OLS on the transform system. And these two steps together are what we call GLS. And GLS estimators, because the transform system has homoscedastic errors, actually turn out to be blue. Okay, so let's go ahead and derive this matrix P. Well, what we want is that the variance of PU, in other words, our transformed error, this thing here, should be equal to, let's say, sigma squared times the identity matrix I. So what we could do is we can actually expand the variance of P times u given x. We can expand it using the form which we have for the variance of a constant matrix A times a random vector x. We know that this is just equal to the matrix A times the variance of the random vector x times A transpose. And if we use this particular equation up here, we find that we're going to have the variance of PU given x is just equal to P times the variance of u given x, if I can write it, times p prime. And we know what the variance of u given x is, it's just sigma squared times omega. So this is just going to be equal to, we can take the sigma squared outside, sigma squared times p times omega times p prime. And what we would do is, or well, what we would like is, we would like this whole thing to be equal to sigma squared times the identity matrix I. And by comparing this particular form here with this form here, we actually are going to get an equation. So we're going to get, in order for this to be true, we must have that the identity matrix I is equal to P times omega times P prime. And this is going to enable us actually to derive the explicit form of P in the next video.